Okay, uh, so uh, like, uh, thank you for joining, right? So we'll see uh, the complete. Uh, so we have created one project. Uh, I I know like many people know that RNG charm, uh, like public URL is there. Uh, this type, right? So if you take uh, this type. Okay, so this site will be automated fully end to end. Okay, so we are going just going to see the uh, demo of this. Okay, so this site complete uh, site will be automated with all the pages uh, we saw. Okay, so this we automated the complete site. We'll see one by one. Okay, so this we automated. So this uh, we'll see one by one. The complete uh, site we automated with the help of Selenium and Google. Okay, so this is what we did. Okay, so uh, if you see, uh, like if you ask me, like what is the structure of that project is? Okay, so we did an automation testing tool, Selenium and Cucumber. So we use Selenium and Cucumber for automating this particular application, Orange HRM application. But the framework which we did this implemented is Hybrid Cucumber. Okay, Hybrid Cucumber with BDD and we use data driven here and we use test and and also we tried with chain it also. Okay, so we used uh, this combination. Our framework is uh, like hybrid cucumber, uh, BDD, data driven, test ng, and also we use uh, JUnit. Okay, and uh, right, uh, we use the design pattern form. Okay, so we use page object model. I I, I can see in my last uh, previous tutorials, right? Uh, so about the page object model. So you can go through that. So we use form design here. And we use build tool Maven. Okay, uh, we use build, uh, build tool Maven, and we use other integration tools, uh, other for integrating with our Maven and Selenium, right? We use GitHub for storing, keeping the code in the repository, uh, Jenkins for continuous integration, and a grid execution for uh, running in a remote machines, and cross browser testing, right? We use uh, for running in different browsers, right? So we we try that also here. And then what we did is we did we generate some reports here. Uh, one is a cucumber uh, extend report. Okay, the next one is cucumber report. We uh, uh, we generated logger. We generated okay logger report. We tried and uh, generated. And we also tried with Alu report. It's uh, it's enough if you you do Excel report. But we tried uh, like how it works in Alu report. I will see the the demo of the company thing. We tried with the Alu report. Next, right, and uh, then we uh, ne next. If you ask me, right, what is the structure of the framework? Is what is the structure of the framework which we have it in our SRC main Java? We had a library class that is a base class where we initialized all our uh, uh, right, all the installation code like launching browser, different browsers, and closing the browser. That code will be there in your base class. And next one is we use Selenium reusable functions here. Uh, like all the reusable utilities like alert frame windows right and drop down selecting a drop down like handling and text box right uh, right get title like different uh, right as such and right so whatever uh, reusable functions which you have learned right all these methods should be there in your selenium utilities shortly you'll see the code of that next one is your test and the validation for your assert validation next one is your excel utility okay and uh, you'll have your listener file also if you have the listener file you'll have that okay uh, next right uh, your excel utilities and java utilities if you need java utilities will be there okay so all these things your structure right of your uh, framework right of mao framework and uh, next one is your src test java where which have which has pages okay uh, your page your individual page like login page right admin page right uh, requirement page right and next one is step definition file where of a cucumber step definition file next the runner class where we run the code with either with chain it or we use test ng and right or chain it right so we use this one okay uh, we tried both actually we tried both okay 
Next one is your SRC test resources where we have all these folders, right? Uh, you will have all these folders in your SRC uh, test resources like screenshot, uh, drivers, config property, action report, log4j, and test data and features, right? Future file, we have all the future file. Next one is log4j, okay? And the next one is we have a test engine library there, okay? Uh, well, the library will be added. All your logs will be generated here okay, in your log 4 j Okay, and we have a right application log where we all your logs will be generated here. Okay, uh, right HTML, right? So all your logs will be generated. We add a test ng library here, and we add test ng dot example for uh, running our uh, our test runner class. parameter okay so this is the uh, structure of the framework and you have the form.xml here okay so we'll add all your dependencies here in the form.xml so this is the uh, structure of our framework by right? dpc we are going to see shortly the structure i uh, will go part by part right the complete project will go part by part so this will be your structure okay now let us go to the code now Okay, and uh, this will be your our structure of the project, right? The complete uh, structure of the project. Can you expand the right uh, yeah, the the complete structure? And uh, this is what we wrote here. The complete structure we wrote here. All uh, right. So if you see right, there we have in the SRC main Java, you have the base class. Uh, you have Selenium reusable functions, and uh, you have the utility class. Then in your SRC test Java, right? You have form dot pages. Right, all the pages, uh, right, all the pages you have in your, right, I will be having, and all the step definitions you have, right, all the corresponding, we'll write a code uh, uh, in the next session, right, we'll, uh, we are just uh, sharing the structure of our project here, okay, so this will be the, uh, the pages, right, next if you see the SRC test resources, and you'll have all the config property here, we can also use the drivers here, Drivers can be added, but we are not using drivers. We are using web driver manager instead of drivers. But before we used to add one folder called drivers. Since we are adding web driver manager, we are not adding that one. Then the log4j property. Then the log4j property and the reports, right? The reports uh, which you are going to generate and the screenshot, right? The screenshot you will have it, okay? A screenshot. Then next one is your uh, right extend config file and the extend dot properties will have then the all your the all your results the dependencies right the form may may when uh, uh, dependencies whatever uh, we add right the form dot xml dependencies all our dependencies will be added here so this will be the structure next is your target folder where all your uh, reports will be generated where you see your reports everything will be generated here uh, in this uh, uh, folder right the next if you scroll down Right. Then you have the form. Uh, then you have the HTML report, uh, chain unit report, logger report. Everything you have that uh, test ng uh, report also you have index.html, email report. Everything you have. You'll see the execution part. I'll cover this. In. I'm just showing the structure here of the our project. Then you have a form.xml. Uh, you have if you go open that, there'll be a form.xml where uh, uh, right you you add all your uh, dependencies here. Right. Alu test ng, Jerkin, Cucumber Java, Cucumber uh, Java, right? Test ng, and if I want to run in Cucumber J in it, like your Python container, then the Cucumber Core and the extent report, then uh, Selenium Java, Apache Poi, right? If I'm using Apache Poi, extent report jar, okay, then I add log4j and the web driver manager, right? For uh, uh, downloading the jars, I use the web driver manager. Cucumber uh, drivers, right? For web drive manager, it's for drivers, Cucumber action report, and the plugins for your Jenkins integration, right? Uh, Maven compiler plugin, uh, Maven Sunfire plugin, and the test ng XML. I'm giving the which shoot I'm going to try and the test ng dot XML. Okay, uh, next one is right your uh, configuration part, right? Uh, that will be uh, mentioned here. So, this is the form.xml uh, which we added for our. Uh, project okay so this is the form.xml we added for our uh, 
a project okay now uh, you go to the uh, src main java okay you go to the src main java right the main, main, main java base class you can you expand the base class okay so this is our uh, library class where we have all initialized our basic uh, uh, right uh, basic uh, methods will be there okay uh, reusable methods will be there okay and uh, next one is right the first one will you give me the config property we'll give a file input stream and we'll tell the path of the config property where we call our uh, browsers right the values which we pass uh, right the, uh, the url which you pass everything will be there in the config property uh, right those are the path will be there okay you take the qualified name and you give that and the next one if you see uh, now you'll have the browser setup right if you come down you'll have the browser setup and uh, we use the switch case now for switching from uh, chrome browser to firefox browser okay and then uh, right yeah, we use web driver manager okay uh, right web driver manager for uh, right downloading the drivers okay we use the chrome options right chrome options and we can run in the headless also if you want to run in the headless browser uh, headless chrome uh, this is a new one right headless chrome we can uh, run in that and next one is same thing we added for firefox okay and same thing we added for uh, i also okay i we added and then we added the logger also then we have this basic code of driver dot manage window maximize uh, delete cookies right timeout right implicit right we have and next we'll have the tear down right uh, driver dot quit we'll have so this is all the basic uh, library class which we have set in our project okay uh, so next you'll have go to selenium reusable functions where i as i told you you'll have all the complete uh, reusable functions right uh, right so all the selenium reusable functions like wait for element to be clickable right your uh, explicit file right so we give the explicit file wait for element to be clickable wait for element visibility okay our uh, next one is a snapshot of the code right the snapshot of the code next we have the other methods like press key down and pre uh, key enter key up we have right move to tab right there are a lot of methods whatever method all of us in your selenium reusable methods will be added here next one is navigate forward navigate back refresh right then the alert handling then the alert handling alert dismiss right uh, scroll element okay like that you'll have all the methods here right like that you can add okay then can you scroll down to the last complete class okay so this are the methods still we can add so this are the methods which is needed for our project that's why we added still we can add if it's needed it, you can add it right then can you go to the utilities okay we have that x uh, we have it right uh, uh, excel utility we have java utility have we have test and utilities okay and uh, this uh, we'll see in the next uh, uh, next part we'll see we are going part by part the next part we'll see the right um, the pages, the Excel utilities, the test and utilities, uh, everything we'll see in the next part. Okay, so thank you guys.